Hello everyone. What you just watched was a 50 yard shot on this deer target here. Uh, I just missed the heart by a little bit, but I was pretty close. My goal for the video today is to help everyone expand their ethical shooting distance. Uh, as you all know, stick bows, we like to get them close. We like to take nice close shots, which there's nothing wrong with that at all. But a lot of people believe that a stick bow over 20 yards is pointless and useless. And uh, I hope today, a video, like a shot like that will prove that with some practice you, you can stretch them out. And it's a lot of fun and I'll show you how I do it. So as I said, this was shot at 50 yards. Uh, I wanted to be right about here, but I was just a little off. So I'm gonna try to show everyone how I practice to maintain farther distances and still maintain kill zone accuracy on an animal. And whether or not you ever take a shot at an animal that far, it doesn't really mean much. It's just to know that if you needed to, you could. So let's get started. Alright, before we start our long range practice, we're going to do a couple practice shots here. This is 17 yards, and make sure we're zeroing in. Okay guys, this is how I do my practice. Um, we take our deer target and I like to have a scoring system so I can judge myself every day to see how I'm doing. So I use the standard 3D score, 5 points for a body shot, 8 points for a lung shot, and 10 points for a heart shot. And how I like to practice is I'll take 3 arrows and I'll do my first set of 3. My first shot will be roughly 12 to 15 yards. My second shot will be 22 to 25. My third shot will be, you know, mid 30s, 31, 32 yards. I get my arrows. I'll take another series of three. My second series with my the first shot at about 20, second shot 30, and then my third shot usually ends up being about 45, 46 yards. I said every shot I score on the deer, 5, 8, or 10, and then I can see how I'm doing each day. And even though I personally never shot a deer over 15 yards, I, I just have a lot of fun shooting long distance. And I feel that practicing a lot at the longer distances, 45, 50 yards, um, it makes a 15 yard shot a piece of cake. And that's really what we're after is complete confidence in our equipment and our shooting. And for me, if I stretch it and shoot long, it makes a, a close shot really easy. So, let's get started. Okay, so, here's our first shot. This should be 12 to 15 yards. And, uh, see how we do. That looked pretty good. Nice 10 right in the heart. Now we're going to take 10 steps back mid-twenties and we're going to try it again. This is shot number two. Here we go. Another really nice shot. I'm happy with that. We're going to take a couple more steps back and take our third shot. Now this is where the practice really becomes important. We've got a shot, this is probably about 35 yards, and this is where your form and everything has to start getting really good to be able to pull this off. We're gonna give it our best try. Just a little far back out of the kill zone, but it's not too bad. Let's go check it out. It's 
So here's our first set of three shots. Um, this is our first shot, 15 yards or so. No, nice 10. We've got an eight here, center of the lungs. This is our second shot. Here's our third shot. We broke the line, we'll count it. Next round, we're going to start with our first shot at 20-ish yards, a little over. This is our first shot of our second string. We've got a 20-ish yard shot, maybe 22. And see if we can put it there in the heart. Just missed it. And like I said, this is our second string of shots. We are on our second shot of our second string, and once you get to this, the shots are getting pretty long, and uh, it's definitely challenging. This shot is at or over 30 yards. Give it a try. Just a touch to the left. We're going to go back another 10 yards and uh, this will be our most difficult shot coming up. I did a couple extra steps on this. We're actually sitting at about 48 yards. And, uh, this will be hard. did not succeed. That was a terrible shot. That's why we practice. So, here's our second string of three shots. It's not quite as good as the first. This is our last shot at almost 50 yards. As you can see, it's, it's way off. At that distance, any pluck of the finger, any slight form difference, it, it really starts to show. That's why we do this. A 50 yard shot is hard, but it makes a 20 yard shot nice and easy, and that's our goal. So as far as scoring goes, we have a 5 here, we've got an 8 here, and this I don't even count because that's not vital. So it gives us a 39 out of a possible 60 points total if we would have had 6 hard shots. Um, a 39 isn't bad, it's not great, but that's the nice thing about this is you can see how you shoot. And you can watch your progression as you keep practicing, and uh, you, know, you can watch yourself grow. It's a good method. Another thing I really like to shoot at are clay pigeons. These are awesome. They're nice and bright. They're cheap to shoot. They're fun when they break. Um, but what these really help me is it trains my eye. It helps me to focus on that small spot. And especially with the longer shots, I can really see my group shrink towards the orange and um, we'll give it a try and hopefully I can show you what I'm talking about. Alright guys, like I said, clays, clay pigeons make great targets, a lot of fun, good, cheap thing to shoot. So before we stretch it out, we're going to take a shot. Um, it's maybe 12, 13 yards. So there we are, we got her. As you can see, that's a lot of fun. I really enjoy shooting those. So, now we got warm up in, we can stretch it out a little bit. Okay, we've put our clay pigeon out at maybe 30, 32 yards. And uh, see if we can hit it, should be fun.
I didn't break it, but I did hit it. If that was a deer, it would have been dead for sure. So, here we have that deer target like 75 yards. Um, not that we're particularly going to hit it or anything, but this does show, you know, that long range practice is good. Uh, even if we don't get it, it sure is fun to try. So, I don't know, we'll see, see what we can do. Okay, we did hit the deer. I stuck him in the butt, unfortunately. Um, see if I can put one into his vitals. Well, there it is. It looked like it might, might have been just a tad high, bottom of the spine, but it's just 75 yards. Oh, a little high. Um, it just goes to show with practice. I mean, these long distances are definitely, definitely doable. Uh, you know, your accuracy isn't going to be hole in hole like you would be able to at 15 or so, but you can certainly hit them. So this is our 75 yard group, um, we do have one vital hit which is kind of cool, first shot was a little off, third shot I plucked it and just pulled right over him. Um, I would never ever advocate shooting a deer that far, Not, no way in the world, uh, but it's fun to know if you're on the 3D course with your friends that it is possible to actually hit the sucker um, and all that does is the long range, you know you're feeling for your form feel everything go off nicely and you can see through the air you can watch you know the pluck of a finger you can watch it take your arrow way off course as it did with that last shot and you know all it does is helps affirmate to yourself uh, that your form's good you're consistent and at least for me uh, it's good it really helps me shoot and it's a lot of fun okay guys we're wrapping up here for today I uh, just wanted to go over what we talked about today um, the point system and the aggregate shots as far as spacing yourself out and reaching out of your comfort zone um, start practicing you know farther than what you'd comfortably be shooting at um, at least for me it really helps I, I do have to mention that you know we've shot 50 to 75 yards today and I would never you know recommend shooting an animal that far it's it's just not it's not a good idea. There's a lot of things that can go wrong very quickly. And uh, you know, if you're a good hunter, you shouldn't need to take a, a shot that long anyway. So with that said, here's my average 12 to 15 yard shot. And at this range, I am extremely comfortable. A shot like that will kill that deer every time. Um, folks, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, enjoyed being here with me shooting today. Uh, if you have any questions, any comments, um, anything I can help you with, just please give me a shout. Thanks everyone.